So I had a really cool experience today. Um, one of my students, Jerry Klein, invited me to come play at a uh, charity event at Sherwood Country Club, which is the site for the um, Chevron World Challenge, which is, it's just an, it's Tiger's Tournament. Um, it's an awesome tournament. I've gone out there and watched, and I've never gotten to play the course. Uh, the other cool thing, though, that was going on, and the thing this video is actually about is, Corey Pavin, uh, the charity was for a school in the Palisades, and Corey Pavin's got a couple of kids in the school, and so he came out and did a short game clinic, uh, which is cool because, as everyone knows, or probably knows, Corey Pavin's not the longest hitter on the PGA Tour, but he did win a U.S. Open, so that means, uh, in my mind, that he's probably got a pretty phenomenal short game, um, and he's probably a pretty straight hitter, but his clinic today was short game, and... Um, he went over a lot of really cool stuff, and because I'm in a situation quite a bit where um, you know I'm under a little bit of pressure playing in these Monday qualifiers, I asked him toward the end of the clinic what he relies on when it comes down to a really heavy, uh, pressure-filled situation, um, such as being in the final group on Sunday um, with a chance to win. And it was really cool, his response, because... I, um, maybe about two years ago, it became pretty apparent to me, I think probably just with the experience of playing in events, that your tempo and your timing can really get thrown off when you get a little nervous or when you get, um, you know, when you're under a little bit of pressure and things start to speed up and, and your process gets fast and you don't quite go through or, or you may not quite go through the same routine that you always do. Um, so I've been employing a kind of breathing technique uh, on every shot uh, for the past, I don't know, 18 months, and it's, it's really helped. And Corey's response to the question, uh, what do you call on in that moment, um, was the very first thing he said, very quickly, he said, uh, my rhythm and my tempo. And, you know, he kind of he could sense, I think, that I was asking from a, a real personal um, standpoint that I was, I was really wanting to know to help, to help me. Um, and, and he, he basically just kind of looked right at me and he said, rhythm and tempo and good swing, Bob. And, uh, and, and it's really cool. You know, I think you hear that a lot from tour players, um, that rhythm and tempo is really important. And for even amateurs, I think at any level when you're, I think it's the same, whether you're playing a skins game or with your, with your buddies or, you're in the club championship or whatever it might be, the pressure that you feel, you might feel in a situation, if it's the highest level that you play at, it's the same pressure that I might feel over a five-footer for birdie on my 18th hole, knowing that if I make that putt, I can maybe qualify um, to play in a PGA Tour event. It's the same pressure. Whatever the highest level that, that you're playing at, whatever that is, whether it's a skins game or a club championship, it's your highest level. So Rory on Sunday at the Masters, when he experienced that for the first time and kind of had a collapse, you know, you can't really fault him for that because that pressure was the highest that he's ever played with. And um, so it's the same for you when you're playing in your game. That pressure that you feel, it's your highest level. So uh, here you go, Bob. So it, it was just cool. It's, it's really neat to get some insights from a U.S. Open winner about what they go through um, when they're faced with that pressure-filled situation. And I think if we can't uh, learn from a guy like Corey Pavin about what to do when we're under the gun, um, then, then we probably can't learn from anybody. So, um, so yeah, give it a try. When you get in that pressure-filled situation and you, you start to get a little nervous, you may start to feel like things speed up a little bit, and you may not even notice it, actually. More likely, you probably won't notice it. But take a little time to focus, make a couple practice swings, and really feel a good rhythm, a good tempo, and I think you'll probably have some good results doing that.